The thing about not only the faculty, but the administration is their passion for learning, their passion for teaching, and their passion for students. Our teachers are subject matter experts, but that's not what sets them apart. What sets them apart is that they're all passionate about teaching and sharing their knowledge with our students. This place gave me a service heart, um, taught me how to serve God by serving others. The academics, the school is trying to be super progressive in where we're going with academic. I think that sometimes gets lost in, in a lot of the other schools and school systems. My oldest is has thrived here with a smaller environment where she walks down the halls and knows people and the teachers know her and they, they know what's going on with her. Defining St. Fred's for me over these past years has been building an atmosphere or continuing to build an atmosphere of excellence where kids can not just achieve academic excellence, but that they can become more themselves. We've made some, some major steps over the last few years in, in the direction of the school and trying to add some consistency. It sets our kids up so much better than the status quo of what, what you have here at most of the other schools in this area. One thing that really impresses me about our students is their eagerness to learn. But one of the things I love the most about them is their kindness. How they reach out to each other, they care about each other. If you interview our students, they will all say that St. Fred's is a family. The people here just are, are a family. Like, we want each other to strive to be the best they can, to better themselves as people and as athletes and as students. To improve St. Frederick's is also going to improve Monroe. Uh, when you when you educate our youth and you send them out into the world, they you know, are our future and we want them to be prepared and we want them to be ready for what's to come. And we hope that we are building a community that they want to come back to. Well, alumni are the foundation that this school is built on and without alumni support, it, it won't continue. It's, you know, it's giving back to what gave to you. And, I know I was the beneficiary of a great education. Some of my best friends still to this day are my friends from high school. And uh, there are so many, I have so many of my children's friends whose parents I graduated with. And we're all still involved. And it's just about investing in what gave to you and keeping this pretty amazing niche of a school that we have going. Every job I've gotten, dating back to my student jobs on campus at ULM, to my internship at CenturyLink, to now, is because of a connection at St. Frederick High School. And that's what St. Frederick is about. St. Frederick is about building a community. And I'm trying to tell my kids that in an everyday life. Build a community around you, a community of people, a community of believers. And that's what we've done. And, and, and I have been fortunate enough in my career, I owe this school a lot because Every job I've gotten is because of a connection I had here at St. Frederick. The academics have always been strong here and something that stands out to its competitors in the area. And I think academics continues to be that and, and has to be. But on the other side of that, you know, the athletics has got to continue to strive to get better. You know, we've got great programs right now, but continued success with that. And to continue success and to build on it, you know, facilities have to improve. And I think that's one place at St. Frederick you know, is striving for right now but needs the help is to continue to build these facilities and upgrade them to give the, the students and the athletes the best chance they can to perform and, you know, be able to be prepared. But don't forget where you got your high school education at, you know, at St. Frederick's High School and, uh, you know, we need help here. This is still y'all's school and uh, uh, the school's old. It, it needs some improvements and, uh, you know, it takes donations from alumni. Uh, you know, to get things done around here that we need. So, uh, you know, whoever's listening, please, you know, give us a, give us some help. Uh, we sure, surely would appreciate it here. And, and like I said, it's still y'all's school. It's still our school. And, uh, you know, uh, anything would, would, would help uh, in, in order to uh, improve uh, the facilities here at St. Frederick's. Uh, it's still a great place, uh, you know, and, and uh, so, yeah, you know, it, it takes people like old alumni to get back involved and, and help us out to get those things done. I think that the physical aspect of St. Fred's definitely needs improvement, and I think that that starts 
with the first thing that you see, whether that be power washing the entire outside of the building or making it look more welcoming or adding those little details of blue, expanding the fields or adding courts or the classrooms. We just got done replacing our roof, which is a, an accomplishment in itself, but cleaning the walls, the floors, and just expanding both the campus as well as the external aspects of the classrooms. We just need a lot more space and we need like some better things for the sports sides like we need a new track because it doesn't really work and, and stuff like that. Well this is a 20th century building you know and we have 21st century needs. We, we are um, we're growing and so we need more space. We're renovating classrooms. Uh, the roof is old. Uh, our AC units are old. We need to uh, we need to make sure that our facilities are up to uh, the standard that we need them to be. But also we need to invest in teachers. Uh, I mean, part of my role at the school is to encourage uh, and, and to develop, help develop the academic programs. I need the best possible teachers that we can find in the area as we need them. Um, we have great teachers here, but we are growing to the point where we, are, uh, where we have teachers coming to us wanting to work here we need to be able to, uh, to invest in those teachers. Much of the school is almost identical to how it was when I was here 30 years ago. Um, unfortunately, we, we do not have tax dollars that, that flow into the school like the public school system to, to push and, and to grow and to expand and to fix a lot of the problems that, uh, that you see in other schools. And so that's why it's so important for um, our alumni our, um, our, our parents and soon-to-be parents um, and parishioners to, to invest in the school to, to maintain the vitality of it, not just now, but into the future. When I feel moved uh, to a certain project, or feel drawn to a certain project, um, I know that if I am on the front line and contributing to it, I feel like I'm you know, doing my part and I feel like I can also be an example. I know that I can make a difference financially uh, and try to help do my part. Nothing will change if people like Justin and I, people that are planning to send their kids to St. Frederick, don't step up to the plate and really, really, truly help support St. Fred. And I think that's where we are and I think that's what we want to be, is we want to be part of the solution in making St. Frederick a better place. Well, I think it's very important to get everybody on the same page, really working in the same direction. Uh, together you can achieve a lot more than you try to go out and do things individually. I think there's some opportunities there to improve um, some things for us athletically. I think um, doing a turf field and a track and field would give us access to surfaces 365 days a year. It also allows some of our feeder schools that, that come up and participate on our campus the same experience and, and access that our high school students have. What I've seen is a continuity of leadership, a vision. This is the next step. I, want, I think these kids have a place that they're proud to say they go to school, that they love the environment, that they, um, that it's, it's a good thing to say I go to St. Frederick. And what I hope this capital campaign does is gives them a very visual of that right at the beginning. It gives them something to really be proud of as in, you know, an upgraded football field, a track, um, new bleachers in the gym. Um, and these are changes that will last for a long time and that we see that these kids are going to, we hope they come up and that they, it is a place that they're really proud to go to. We give because we care. 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 I give because I care. I